there are definitely many different types of build in Fallout 4, but one of my favorite is is building a, a build around a specific gun called the Spray and Pray. It's an automatic weapon that basically does area effect damage, and you can basically level up the Commando perk as well as the Explosion perk to increase the damage of the weapon. You can actually get the weapon early on in the game and progress through the game at a, an exceptional speed. So we're going to start with a strength 3 so we can get the armor perk. Perception, uh, we'll start at 4 and then we can get the bobblehead early game to um, get the demolition perk. Endurance will be 1. Charisma, we're going to max this out at 10 because we want to have the... Uh, to be able to buy the spray and pray and charisma affects the prices at the vendors and so we're gonna have that at 10 intelligence we're gonna stick with six just so we can get the chemistry perk which allows us to create uh, overdrive which is used to to uh, to allow critical strikes which is what I'm gonna use later you can spec into agility for sneak damage and stuff but I'm gonna go into luck uh, to try to get uh, six or seven luck later so we get better crits agility should be at two for um, the commando perk go ahead and start this game Enjoy your so to in order to buy the weapons spray and pray you actually have to go all the way and find the vendor cricket she normally spawns right outside of Diamond City at the beginning of the game. So you want to make your way there before the day ends. Otherwise she can be anywhere in the Commonwealth. And so, I'm going to actually just run straight there. But before I do, I want to collect some... I wanted to collect the gold bars in the beginning so I can actually sell them for money. And um, I'm going to have to create some stuff just to try to get more currency before we go and buy the weapon. And one of the reasons why I like this weapon is it does AOE damage so you don't really have to aim and the ammo uses the 45 ammo which is uh, which is pretty good because it's one of the most sold ammo throughout the game from all the vendors and so we're gonna go ahead and go to a workshop and just Go ahead and just try to get as much steel as you can. You don't have to really overdo this because it will be a waste of time. We're just going to go and get rid of some of the bigger buildings and bigger components here and maybe a few cars. Alright, we're going to go behind here and go to the cellar. And inside a cellar, you get a three gold bars, which you can use, you can sell at the beginning of the game. They're worth quite a lot. You can buy whatever, you, you can grab everything you want if you want, but I'm just going to grab the gold bar and call it. After this, I'm just going to go and get rid of more buildings and cars so I can get as much steel as I can. And then I'm going to head out to the chemistry station to build... Um, some traps. The traps are actually worth quite a lot in early game so it's free EXP as well as um, something you can sell to make some good uh, caps at the beginning of the game. And I'm gonna start heading to Diamond City right afterwards. On the way there you can try to buy some clothes if you can from the diner or if you find um, Carla, you can see if she sells any clothing, which will help us reduce the overall price of the spray and pray weapon. Oh, this is a long load. I love Fallout 4, but one of the downfalls of this game is I can never deal with the loading. It always takes forever to load. Like you can play like 20 hours, and maybe a whole hour of the game that you played is, is just all loading. But anyways enough of that. I'm going to go ahead and just scrap some of these and scrap those two buildings over there as well and then we're going to head 
head to the chemistry station. Yeah, spray and pray is definitely one of the most, in my opinion, it's the most OP like weapons like early game and even later once you get like once you get leveled up and uh, one of the reasons why I like this spray and pray weapon also is because with with that particular weapon you don't have to really upgrade anything like you don't have to go to the weapons uh, learn anything to uh, to upgrade the weapon because it's pretty much fully autumn um, already upgraded all the way so you can just use that gun and it'll pretty much take you all the way to end game okay so we're at the chemistry station I'm gonna go to traps and we're gonna build a bunch of of these cow traps I just max it out you can also get more steel later if you want to build your water mine I mean your uh, the water purifiers And um, the first skills we want to learn is the cap, so we can get discount to help us um, be able to afford the spray and pray, as well as buy enough ammo to get the game going. And so, um, yeah, so one of the things about this weapon, or any type of automatic weapon, is you always have issues with the ammo. Like you always. Like I always have to come back and stock up ammo, and it does get annoying at times. But luckily, they do sell like up to 300 something ammo per vendor. Sometimes only 100, but it definitely helps out a lot. And um, I tried, I even tried uh, building my own um, farm to actually try to farm. Um, and create my own bullets, but I found the process takes way too much effort for something that you can just sit down and rest for a couple hour, uh, for a couple days, and you can get the ammo uh, reset on the vendors and just rebuy the ammo, which I found to be a lot easier. Yeah, the weapon is actually very OP because you can shoot from distance and even if you don't really hit them and you just hit around the enemies it's AOE damage so it definitely will splash and deal damage to the enemies which is why it is so OP but oh, one of the awesome things about the weapon too is it's it basically has a built-in sneak so if you're trying to build a sneak build this weapon will actually work out really well for you as well Yeah, this is the hardest part of the game, just going all the way to Diamond City. It always takes forever. But it's all worth it at the end. So what's your story? I'm gonna go ahead and talk to Carla now to see if she has any type of clothing I can buy to help me uh, reduce the price of the gun. Hey Carla, back again? Time to do bit I've got a few minutes to browse. Always mm hmm. We got a wig and suit. I'll go ahead and sell some of this. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and just wear this for now. Just to get the charisma up. Also, I can do this quest right here where which I can just tell them to Give me their money and scram. We had a deal, Rudy. Since Stand I do have my deal. charisma at level 10. I ain't giving you poison shilling cap whoa, whoa. pushers anything. Easy there, you, know what that done to my boy? you stop waiting. Okay, okay, just take it easy. Now hand over your money. Just keep calm, alright? Here. Now get the hell out of here. Both You gotta be kidding me. Can't believe you made that scumbag turn tail and run. Let's see what you have. All salvage. Alright, now it's straight to Diamond City.
Yeah, once, once. Oh, Something's what the hell? <laughs> Let's go. Take that. Where's that the guy at? Here we go. Here we go. I should have done that from the start. Yeah, I'm not really good at shooting or shooter games, and so this is probably why I think Spray and Prey is definitely really one of my favorite builds uh, when playing Fallout 4. You can shoot them as far as you want, you can do sneak damage, you can do the AoE damage, you can get a heck of ammo, you, you don't really have to spec into a lot of points in, to get your maximum damage. You're pretty much set from the beginning already. And the weapon is so OP, like, like it's, it's like right now I think the settings in normal, like it's so ridiculously and so OP that you basically can destroy everything in like one or two shots, which is like crazy. Like I don't think me melee weapons are even that strong early game, not until you get the sneak damage and you get the crazy ten time crits. But once. For this weapon, once you get that crit, uh, bonus crits or better crits, and you start getting overdrive, all oh, the damage is going to be so OP. I'm not too sure about how the crit damage works, because in terms of automatic weapons, I know that automatic weapons shoots like a couple bullets at a time. And I'm not sure if crits apply to all the bullets or just a single bullet, but and it seems to only apply to one bullet when I do the sneak damage, which I have on my other save game. So, I want to try the better crits just to see if um, it works out better than the sneak build. Because I actually don't want to like sneak. I mean, sneaking around is cool and stuff, but then sometimes you, I just want to go up and just shoot the enemies and, and I can just run through like all this terrain and not have to take my time. I can just go and take down everything. And I mean, it's an automatic weapon. That's the whole point of the weapon. So. It's definitely a different play style. And um, it doesn't really use the VAT, so it's definitely um, it's pretty cool. Because sometimes I, I do like VATS, VATS build too, but one of the things I find like annoying is when you go to a place that uses a lot of RAM and you're trying to use VATS and everything just freezes up. And then, like, you can't even select any target, and sometimes the game would just crash on me. And so I found that, I don't know, the build just wasn't for me. Or maybe it was just because my PC at the time was not that great. Um, I, I finally upgraded my PC this year, so I'm actually pretty uh, pretty happy. I still need to get a new monitor, since I'm running a uh, 60 hertz monitor now, and it doesn't really... Uh, Put the graphics card to use uh, to uh, maximize its potential but hey the game runs fine i enjoy playing this game from time to time and so it definitely works oh man this walk is so long uh, one of the other things i like about uh, shopping from cricket in early game is sometimes she sells some pretty good weapons like I think she even sold like a super sledgehammer uh, one time when I spoke to her, now, which is pretty cool. If you're trying to build a melee and you want to get the strong melee weapon, you can definitely get it from her early game. But again, I'm just here for the spray and pray, and maybe I'll buy some armor too. If she has a pretty nice armor, I'll definitely buy some armor from her as well, if I have enough caps. Alright. Just a moment of truth. There's Diamond City. And there's Cricket. See? The day hasn't ended. And so Cricket usually just starts here when you start when you start a new game. You can just talk to her. Hankering for melting face? I'll take a look. Sure. A part of every big per Alright, and we're gonna buy some we're gonna buy the weapon. We're gonna buy a spray and pray.
31 damage and 15 explosive AOE damage. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. And I want to buy the 45 ammo rounds. And that's going to 2200. So let's see if we have enough to buy this. We're gonna sell these traps that we made. Boom, 900. We're gonna sell those gold bars. Look, almost have enough ready. And now, to make up the difference, we're just gonna sell the rings. We don't need these rings. Or maybe jumpsuit, hard hat, glasses. Ah, okay, we got now we got our weapon. Let's see what armor she sells. Hmm. Nothing in particular. Okay, well anyways. I have to spray and pray now, and that's just gonna be pretty much be our main weapon throw for the rest of the game. Piper. Sorry. Just doing my job. Go ahead and save the game here. And you can basically just load back to the beginning of the game and just play from there. I'm gonna just go ahead and maybe destroy these um super mutants here. Just to showcase the build. Usually in the beginning of the game, you're not too strong, so super, super mutants should be like pretty hard to take down. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, super OP. I could probably just take some of these guards armor since I didn't buy no armor. I'm just gonna grab the guards armor and use that for my sharding armor. Yeah, look at that, I'm set. Just gonna go ahead and go to Concord and just continue the quest line. Pretty much now to level up this this build, you pretty much just alternate between the demolition perk as well as the command commando perk. Commando perk. Alternate between that and Demolition Expert. We're gonna get the Demolition perk once we get the bobblehead when we go see uh, um, the whole crew. Check out this weapon, watch. Look how strong this gun. Oh, they, they were all taken out of it. Oh no, there's some raid over here. Dead. I barely shot him one, two times. He's dead. Ooh, there's one guy here. One of the, the things I don't like about this weapon is, I forgot to mention, it was that you can't really shoot enemies that are melee because it does damage to you too. But you can fix this later by getting um, by getting the armor upgrades that protects you against explosion. I think all you have to do is get the leg one. There's the leg that gives you the padding, as well as the chest one gives you extra padding. I think uh, overall those two pieces stack together and prevents like 75% of explosive damage so that's how you're gonna avoid uh, getting um, getting damaging yourself with this weapon no more yes look how strong this gun is it's ridiculous look at that like two shots down But this is ridiculous. I can shoot off the side, and it does AOE damage. And so it's this gun just so OP. So you can just shoot the side and kill the kills them already. I don't have to aim. This is why the the weapon is so OP. You can just shoot around and later with the crit when it's crit too, it does even more damage. It's ridiculous. Look, it's not even fun. It's not even fair. It's like fishing with dynamites. 
get the bobblehead Man, I don't know for, per who you are. for the perception and you can just level up demolition expert that's pretty much it you level this guy up you level this guy up max you can um, go into a uh, lone wanderer to get the less damage uh, and a carry weight and uh, you can even take less damage here and later you can get even 25% more damage and then you can level all the way up to get better crits you want to max that out and then you want to get into one point of chemist which will allow you to upgrade and and create overdrive and normally I just get all the recipe piece um, to create overdrive in Diamond City you can just buy some um, psychos nuka colas you can buy from that I don't know what the shop is called it's the robot that sells um, drinks he's near the left side of the mayor's house you talk to him and sometimes he size sells up to five nuka colas and then the acid stuff you can just buy from the junk vendors and then pretty much every time you go stock up your bullet you just produce more overdrive and you know we got the chemist perk so overdrive will last per your run so you can just do your run and the critical strike will be just there for you with 25% crit plus you get the better crits you're doing potentially 2.5 times more damage and uh, it's definitely going to be a super OP build Preston Gar Alright, the rest of the video will just showcase how strong this gun can be and uh, it will showcase how it will work against some of the super mutants as well as some Meyer lurks and stuff and so if you decide you know to make this build and good for you and if you like this build click the like button click the subscribe button leave a comment if you do like the build or if you don't like the build or if you have a different build that you prefer and you like leave a comment I read the comments tell me another OP build and maybe I'll try it out as well um, I'm just gonna do a showcase and thanks for watching the video or you just continue watching if you want to see it the showcase done. of how the strongest weapon can be Alright, the rest of the video will just showcase how strong this gun can be and uh, it will showcase how it will work against some of the super mutants as well as some Meyer lurks and stuff and so if you decide you know to build, make this build and good for you and if you like this build click the like button click the subscribe button leave a comment if you do like the build or if you don't like the build or if you have a different build that you prefer and you like leave a comment I read the comments tell me another OP build and maybe I'll try it out as well um, I'm just gonna do a showcase and thanks for watching the video or you just continue watching if you want to see it the showcase done. of how the strongest weapon can be
Light him up!
Gonna slaughter your brain! 